Once again, it's time to bring in my colleague and social media reporter, Mariama. Take it away again, Mariama. Well, thanks, Shaka. The announcement last Friday that opposition leader Peter Mutarika won the presidential elections in Malawi was followed by a week of chaos after incumbent president Joyce Banda said that the May 20th vote was marred with serious irregularities and called for a recount. Malawi's high court later issued an injunction stopping her decision to dissolve the election in which she was a candidate. This had many people talking and asking questions, including us, leading to our question of the week, which asked, to what extent do you think that the recent high court ruling in Malawi's election is a major turning point in promoting democracy in Africa? Well, thanks everyone for using all our social media platforms to communicate to us. Let's begin with a comment from Adam's Adam from Arusha in Tanzania who writes, this should be a big lesson to all serving presidents who feel that it's easy to manipulate the pillars of government. Cherish democracy. I have seriously lost respect for Madam Joyce Bender. Well, another comment comes from Charles Aidu in Accra, Ghana, who says, the judiciary has exercised independence and fairness in its landmark ruling. The nation would have become bloody if the court had not shown the commitment to uphold the people's verdict. I am sure other courts, other courts will definitely take a cue from this unbiased ruling. Well, Shaka, while some agree with the, with the court, others uh, such as uh, Bander's uh, supporters can also argue against the ruling. What do you make of it? What about that, uh, Mwiza? You seem to be... Uh... An incredible gorgeous man there uh, for Banyarwanda. Mwiza means gorgeous, beautiful. Mm, that's what I've been told by Rwandese. But... And for a mchiga like me from Kavari, southwestern Uganda, my friend would say Mwiza, you have arrived. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it means in my language, you have arrived. Mwiza means you have arrived. So you might probably be a mchiga yourself. Possibly. Yeah, well, these borders are artificial, we, uh, so we what? have to investigate that. A bit. Why, why not remove them after all? We if they're artificial, they must uh, reflect someone else's interest. We should. We should be working towards removing those borders. So what about the elections, my friend? You just had a uh, reaction from Tanzania and from Ghana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Oscar Rafik has made great points, and uh, I'd probably support what, what he said. And I think the, one of the things that we need to address now not because unfortunately all these elections people get ready for them like a year before it should be really a process continuous process starting now mm -hmm. like looking at the, some of the problems that we've had to, in this past elections how do we address them for the, so that it doesn't happen again next time and unfortunately the political class is not is, is you seem to see them being not really concerned about that they're really more concerned about staying in power mm -hmm. so as a result these issues don't get resolved 